a renowned development economist once said that a thriving agri-food system could cut poverty in half, create hundreds of thousands of new jobs and drive economic growth. With food and nutrition insecurity remaining an ever imminent threat, the need for diet diversity is paramount. A recent conference brought together stakeholders to discuss restoring agriculture and trade through partnerships in Nigeria. An initiative of Nigerian Women in Agricultural Research for Development, NIWAD, this forum featured some of the successful agri-food systems that provide dietary diversity. Bayelsa is traversed with several creeks and rivers and we are also bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. So naturally, we love to farm fish, we love to capture fish from the wild, and we love to eat fish. So now, with increasing population, we found out that there's also a decline in the fisheries resources in the state. We need to still boost our fishermen, our fish farmers, by providing facilities that will enable them to continue with their livelihoods. A world was established to widen the pipeline for women scientists in leadership, such as Dr. Ebenemi Jo Anser, an award fellow 2009. I am a specialist in fisheries and aquaculture management. I'm also the special advisor on aquaculture and fisheries to the governor of Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Award has empowered me with leadership qualities required for this kind of job to do projects that will impact the lives of the people. And that is why we have this fish farm here today. I came on board as a special advisor in May 2016 and my duties was to advise governments on the benefits of aquaculture through policy formulations that will enrich the people of Bayelsa State. Right here we are at the Bayelsa Aquaculture Village in Yenegwe, Yenegoa local government area. This farm was established to provide jobs for our youth, for our women, and for our men. And the fish we want to grow here is catfish and tilapia. It will reduce the fish deficit that is already biting hard on the Nigerian economy and also employ people, provide them with good jobs that they can smile home with sufficient money to cater for the needs of the family. To support the farmers, we have put in place a feed mill with the capacity of providing 20 tons of fish feeds on a daily basis. The farmers will be provided with all they need and they will share the resources in the farm to produce the fish needed for the market. Farmers have either to sell the fish live or to send the fish to the processing factory where it will be processed, packaged and sent to the market. Indeed, a thriving agri-food system can only be realized if a range of diverse perspectives necessary for optimal research and development are harnessed. How best to achieve this than to support women scientists to be effective agricultural leaders?